In this video, you're going to learn about 5 dangerous tires that you should never buy. As everyday drivers, tire safety is a top priority. With over 11,000 tire related crashes happening each year, it is crucial that you know which tires you should avoid at all costs. Luckily for you, you clicked on this video. I'm Jeff from Modern Muscle, and these are 5 dangerous tires that you should never buy. First on the list are Firestone Wilderness Tires. Firestone Wilderness Tires are perhaps one of the most deadly tires ever put into production. Produced primarily for the Ford Explorer in 1990, the first profile incident occurred on October 16th of 1998, when a 14-year-old high school cheerleader, Jessica Taylor, who while on the way to a homecoming football game, died in a car accident. The tread on the left rear wilderness tire peeled off, causing the SUV she was riding in to veer to the left, flip over six times, and crash into the freeway divider at 70 miles per hour. She died as oncoming traffic crashed into her flipped SUV. This and countless other accidents led Firestone and Ford Motor Company to recall and replace 23 million Ford Wilderness tires. As a result of the tire's poor design, several executives at Firestone and Ford were reassigned or fired. The tires proved to be so deadly that Congress got involved and passed the Threat Act. All in all, these tires brought an end to a nearly 100-year corporate relationship between Ford and Firestone. Up next, we have cheap imported Chinese brand tires. Tires from China can cost far less than better known brands. Consumer reports included three in recent tests and they found they're no bargain. In recent years, many Chinese tire manufacturers have come under attack for making substandard unsafe tires available for sale in the US. These tires lack even the most basic of safety features such as gum strips, belt stiffeners, and bead wedges, all basic features considered to be industry standard. While there have been many variations of Chinese import tires that have come under attack, the ones that have been subject of forced government recalls include the following three brands, Westlake Tires, AKS Tires, and Compass Tires. Last and not least are Goodyear G159 Tires. The G159 was originally designed for delivery vehicles that should travel no more than 65 miles per hour. The first high-profile case of tire failure occurred on October of 2003 when Billy Wayne Woods, his wife, son, daughter-in-law, and two grandchildren packed into a luxury $181,000 motorhome for a fun getaway to Florida. Somewhere along the I-75 in Georgia, the threads came off the left front Goodyear tire. Woods tried to keep the vehicle under control, but it crossed over the median and slammed into an embankment. The nearly 40-foot-long vehicle then hit a direction sign, slid across the entryway for a rest area, and struck into a second embankment before finally coming to a stop. Both Woods' wife and his daughter-in-law suffered broken backs, his son a broken hip, and Woods was left paralyzed. Several months later, he died as a result of complications from his injuries. When equipped on normal passenger vehicles, the Goodyear G159 tires were prone to heat-induced failure, and as early as 1990, numerous owners across the U.S. reported accidents due to thread separation and blowouts. The tires were designed to handle a temperature of 194 degrees Fahrenheit when traveling at highway speeds between 65 and 75 miles per hour. In excess of 200 degrees Fahrenheit, the tire ran a risk of thread separations. Goodyear's own test data showed that tires ran temperatures as high as 229 degrees. The G159's failure rate is anywhere between 10 and 25 times worse than the defective Firestone Wilderness tires. Goodyear employees themselves said that in depositions that they couldn't identify any tire made by the company that comes close to the failure rate of this one. Well guys, those are the five tire brands that you should definitely avoid. Let me know what you guys think of the list. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like what you see at the channel, subscribe. Thanks again guys, I hope to see you soon. Until next time.